Hi, good evening, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes, we can hear you. Good, excellent. How are you guys today? Pretty good, thank you. And you? Pretty good, thanks. I like your earrings. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, like they say in Spanish, a la orden. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you, I just might have a little bit of problems getting it to you, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> they look great on you. Huh? They look great on you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, how are you guys? What about the others? How are you? Claudia, Wilmer, Jose. So so good, good, excellent, Wilmer. Andy, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Good, excellent. Good, Josue, how are you doing? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Good, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, Claudia, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, thank you. Excellent, okay. Rafael, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good, I'm glad to hear that. And Marcella, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I, I understand. It's almost. And how are you? Good, good. I'm doing quite well. Mm -hmm. You look so pretty today. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I like your, your earrings. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was saying, uh, like they say in Spanish, a la orden. I, I don't okay. know how I'm going to get it to you, but, I, but you know, you're more than welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And Alex, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Good. I'm very fine. A little bit tired, but I'm fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Was today a difficult day for you, all of you? Was it a hard, a hard day, hard week? No? Um, because I have, yeah, because I have a lot of uh, work in, in the university. <clears throat> mm, okay. Yeah, okay. that's why. I understand, yeah. Well, the good news is that we only have one more day for the weekend, right? Just Friday and that's it, right? So that's, that's exciting. And uh, today is the last day of the week for our English classes. So tomorrow you will be able to relax in the evening, you know, just, I mean, I, I, I'm sure you're gonna be working on the platform, right? <laughs> but other than that, uh, I'm sure that you guys are gonna have a little bit of a chunk. By the way, do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Sorry? Do you have well, plans for the weekend? I go to the beach. I will Ooh. go to the beach. Yes. Okay. So I'm really excited about it. Okay. <laughs> what beach are you going to go to? What? What beach are you going to go to? Costa del Sol, I think. Nice. Because, um, 
my family rent a rancho. I don't know. A beach house. A beach house, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know exactly where is this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but those are so it's nice. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Okay. What about the rest of you? Any plans for the weekend? No? I, I truly no. No? Okay, no. Okay. Well. okay. All right, guys. Uh, by the way, um, I wanted to let you guys know, um, thank you for those of you that have uh, worked on the homework and done the, um, the conversation. I haven't been able to look at all of them um, that you sent. Uh, but I will. I will try to get it back to you um, as soon as I can. Okay, so I, I promise about that. But um, just give me another chance, and you know, and I know, I know, I'll get back to you on that. Um, remember, the more practice, the better, right? As much as practice as you can, um, you know, that's that's how you're gonna improve, right? So that's that's important. Okay. Um, so so far, any questions? about what we have been looking at at this moment. Um, Teacher, I have a little question. Yeah. Um, today, uh, while I was um, working in the platform, mm -hmm. um, a doubt arose uh, about the, for example, I remember that there was a sentences in which um, appears something. I'm going to read it on the chat because, um, so that you can understand me better. Okay. Um, let me see what it was. Um, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and while, uh, while he's um, writing in the chat, any other questions that you guys have? No? No other questions? No, okay. okay. All right, good. Um, okay, so today, guys, basically what I want to do is uh, finish off the, um, the information from section three. Okay. Uh, remember what I told you it, at the end of section three, you have the midterm. And so we should be doing a, a round uh, so, yeah, uh, approximately um, Monday, Tuesday, something like that, you should be doing the midterm, okay? So that means that um, this weekend, I would like you, if you're if you're a little bit behind, please try to do uh, catch up and be ready for Monday with uh, finished already section three. And that way um, you can do the midterm Monday, Tuesday, somewhere around that time, okay? Okay, so okay. Raphael, uh, yeah. Okay, my teacher, my my teacher, sorry. My um my question is about why um well why why the sentences doesn't have uh two after me. For example, when I, I remember that I when I wrote, could you help could you help me to move on Saturday? Uh, she put it wrong to me. And I remember that after, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but after uh, object pronouns, I gotta use uh, two. For example, if I say something like, I want you to go, for example. And uh, why, in, why in this case, uh, they don't use two after me in, this, in that case? Okay, yeah, that's a valid question. Uh, and you know what? The answer, Rafaela, is coming up in today's class. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I will answer that. I promise I will answer that. Just okay. give me a little bit of chance there and I will answer that question. Okay. 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 Thanks. All right. Um, oh, hold on. Wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a second. Let me see. Hmm. 
No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, um, I, I take that back, Raphael. I take that back. Um, it's not from the information we're going to see today. It's actually from the previous one. What, what section is that? Raphael, what, do you remember what section it was in the... I, rem I, I think it's, it's section 3. Point, I don't remember if it's 3.2 or 3.4. I don't remember well in this moment. Um, I don't remember well. You don't remember? Sorry, I don't, I don't remember well what, which sec section I found is. Okay, okay, but um, still they are, they are requests, right? Basically they are requests. Um, let's see if I can find, okay. I will answer that question for you. How about if I, while I find the, um, the information from the previous classes, uh, I, will, I will start with the other part of today's class. And then at the end of the class, I'll answer that. Sounds good? Okay, it's done. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so what we're going to do right now, guys, uh, we're going to be starting with the last information about um, section number three. Or, yeah. So in the section number three, the last part um, is about indirect questions. Okay. Or in, yeah, a, or indirect requests, let's say. Let's say that's an indirect request. What does it mean, an indirect request? It basically, an indirect request is um, a when you when you want to ask somebody to give a message to another person. Okay, uh, for example, let's say you call your best friend. Okay, you call them at home, but your best friend is not at home and they're not picking up their cell phone and you want to give them a message. You need to give them a message. So you leave it with, you leave the message with um, their mom or their sister or their wife or their girlfriend. Um, and you tell the person, for example, in Spanish, you would say something like, um, dile a fulano, like dile a, just, just, just to think, thinking of any, any name. Dile a Juan que, que, me, que necesito ayuda con, eh, con la mudanza, okay? For example, all right? So you leave the message there for Juan, right? And um, you're asking his, you know, mother or sister or wife or girlfriend or whoever it is you're asking them to say that that message to him does that make sense yes is that clear for everybody or does or it's not really clear <clears throat> yes yeah guys mm -hmm. I know yes. it's there for one person, but what about for the rest of you? Because I'm interested in that too. It's okay? Hi guys, I really, I, I need your, your, your input. So tell me, is it clear what I just said? Or do you have questions? Now is the moment to ask, uh, to ask the questions. Now is the moment I can help you. Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my connection. So uh, can you repeat, please? Sure, not a problem. Okay, so thank you. That's it. You're welcome. Let's say that um, you are calling your best friend, who is Juan. I right? just to give you an, 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 a number, that's uh, right, a, a name. So you're calling your best friend Juan. And your best friend Juan is. Uh, he is not answering his cell phone. So, and you need to give him a message. It's urgent, it's important message. And what happens is that you call his house 
and he's not there. He's not picking up his cell phone. He's not in his house, but you need to give him a message. So you leave the message with somebody in the house. Could be like his sister, his mom, his girlfriend, his wife, his brother, whoever it is, okay? And you tell the person to give them a message. You say, for example, like in Spanish, you would say, Dile a Juan que necesito ayuda con mi mudanza. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. yes. All right. That, that when you ask somebody to give a person a message, that's what we call an indirect request. Okay. So you are requesting something from somebody, but it's not directly to that person. You are using another person uh, to give that message or give that request to. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Good. Excellent. All right. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to look at this uh, different ways that you can give indirect um, indirect uh, requests. Okay. Um, so I'm going to right now share with you my PowerPoint. Okay, can you guys see this? You see the power? Yes, yeah, we we'll see it. it. Okay, good. All right, so um, this is your pre-advanced number one. It's day number eight. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero and today's Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at the first part. The first part is indirect request, and this is a statement, okay? So the first one we have, a, the statement is, the statement or the message, let's say, that you want to give um, Jeff is this one. Jeff, Tony is having a party. That's a statement. Hi, everyone. Well, you know Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is directly the statement that you want to tell Tony. That's the message. Let's say you want to tell Tony. So what you do is, uh, sorry, not Tony. You're you're telling Jeff. Okay. About Tony. So what you're doing here is you're going to tell um, the message to maybe Jeff's sister or Jeff's secretary or Jeff's mother. Or Jeff's wife, you're going to give the message. And what you're going to do, you're going to say, could you tell Jeff or could you tell, oh, sorry, yeah, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? It, we, the word um, that is in parentheses. And the reason why it's in parentheses is because it's not necessary. You don't have to use the word that if you don't want to. It's more of an option. Okay, so you decide. You decide if you want to put the word that or not. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So what yeah. we're good. Excellent. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to show you some examples here. All right, and you guys you're gonna help me do make the examples. Okay, so we're going to continue talking about Jeff. Okay, we're going to talk about Jeff, and we're going to give Jeff different um, information. Okay, and you're going to tell him, you're going to help me create the information. Okay, give me four, sorry, give me three 
um, messages for Jeff. That is a statement. Okay. Um, let's start with Delmi. Delmi, could you please give me one statement for Jeff? Um, same like the one you have, like Tony's having. Um, any any message? Any message you want to give to to Jeff? What about if I say okay? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Okay. Tony is cooking pasta. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. So Jeff. Okay. So Jeff, Tony is cooking pasta. Okay. All right. Uh, Raphael, I, I I see you had one idea in mind. Yes, I, I was thinking about if what about if if I put something like Tony is at at uh, the mall, for example, and okay. we can say something like okay. Tony is at the mall. Yes, Tony is at the mall, okay. and we can say- It doesn't have to be Tony. It? it could be anything at all. OK. OK. Um, could be I am at the mall, right? Jeff, Carlos, I'm at the example. mall. Hmm? Yeah. Carlos, for example. Did you repeat that? Carlos. Carlos, Is okay. at the mall? Carlos is at the mall. OK. Give me another one, one more, because I asked for three. Anybody? Any statement? Any statement um, at all? Jeff, Samantha have a accident. Okay, good. Jeff, Samantha has. Samantha has had had an accident. Had, okay. Okay. Yeah, it has to be had because um, it, in the past. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's yeah, something yeah. that happened to Samantha in the past. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So, again, like I was saying, um, these are all statements. And all you're going to do is pretty much copy this part here. Could you tell? And in this case, it would say Jeff. But we don't have to say Jeff. Like, just like we don't have to say, talk about Tony. We can talk about Carlos. We can talk about Samantha. We can also um, use another. It doesn't have to be Jeff. Give me another name for Jeff. Or oh, sorry, give me a, the message for who else? Give me another person. One. One, okay. So we can say uh, Juan Carlos is at the mall. Okay. Or another one? David. Okay, yeah, good. David, Samantha had an accident, okay? So these are different um, messages you want to give to different people. So what happens is, um, let's see if we can. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, like I said, that's that's a statement. And the idea here is to create um, the, the indirect request. So what we're gonna do, it's very, very simple. We're gonna start with the basic uh, beginning, okay? And the basic beginning is always gonna start with, could you tell, okay? All right. Um, so we can say, could you tell? And then, okay, so could you tell? I'm gonna start with this. Could you tell? It's also possible to say, can you tell? Okay, so could you tell or can you tell? The book followed. Okay, now then after that goes the person that you are giving the message to. In that case, in this case, who, are, who is the message for? Jeff. Good. Jeff. Exactly. The message is for Jeff. In this one, who is the message for? One. One, exactly. And then here, who's the message for? David. David, exactly. Okay. So we're gonna say here, could you tell Jeff? Could you tell Juan? Could you tell David? And remember what I told you about- um, That. The, exactly, that. Uh, it's optional. So I'm gonna put it in parentheses. Right. So could you tell Jeff that? Or could you just tell Jeff, right? That's only that. Without, sorry, without the word that. Okay. And then after that, what happens is that you write the sentence in a very, in whatever um, the message is. After the word that, if you use the word that, it goes directly the message, okay? With no change whatsoever, okay? Um, so to give you an example, um, what, what is the message in this case? Tony is cooking pasta. Exactly, the case is Tony is cooking pasta. So that is our message, okay? And Tony spelled just with that. There you go. Okay. All right, in this one, what's the message? Carlos is at the mom. Sorry? Carlos is at the mall. Exactly. Our message is that Carlos is at the mall. Okay. And over here, what's my message? Samantha had an accident. Good. Samantha. Had an accident. Okay, so see how easy that is? Okay. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's really not that complicated, right? Yeah. Um, just put, we always start with, could you tell or can you tell? You say the name of the person you're going to, uh, who the message is for. We can use that if we want to. And then you go with the with the the actual message. Okay. Simple as that. Yeah. Yes, but I have a question. Okay. When you use who is when you use cam. Oh. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Just like um, I explained yesterday, the only difference is probably that could is a little more formal than can. Okay. 
Okay. It's pretty much the same, the, the, the difference. Okay. But uh -huh, but the actual meaning is the same. It's just, it's just being a little bit more formal, more polite. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Okay. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, can I ask you another question? Um, sure. In this case, for example, as we are talking about a situation when you want to uh, leave a message with the other right. person, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so, but sometimes, for example, for example, sometimes um, you are talking to other people or to other person, for example, and sometimes mm -hmm. somebody else calls him, calls this person, mm -hmm. and you want to this person to tell something else to, to the other person. For example, imagine that in this case, for example, um, Carlos is at the mall. Mm -hmm. And what about if I can't go to the mall and I need to Carlos um, bring something to me? How do you, um, how would you tell Juan, for example, uh, ask, ask for Carlos uh, to bring something? Mm, okay. That. So let's say, what you, the idea what okay let me see if i understand what you're trying to say okay so for example uh juan and carlos are together at the mall yeah exactly. and you you tell juan to tell carlos that you yeah. need him uh, uh exactly. you need some and you need Car carlos to bring something yeah yeah how how would you okay. say that yeah and that's actually on the next slide okay i'll okay. answer that on the next slide okay yeah, very good question mm -hmm. Okay, anything else about statements here? No, it's a pretty straightforward. No, I'll be too. Okay, all right, good. All right, let's go now to the next one, which is the one that has the answer that Raphael asked. This is what we call imperatives, okay? What are imperatives? Remember, imperatives are in, when you encourage someone to do something or you've given them an order, okay? So you give them an order or, or a request, uh, sorry, a recommendation, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Example like this one, Jeff, don't be late. That's an order, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's what you are asking, right, Raphael? Yeah, this is when you're giving question. when you're giving an order to someone, yeah. you're asking them to do something, or a right? Favor. Yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Um, so in this case, we have a, we change it to so Jeff, don't be late. Changes to can you tell Jeff not to be late? Okay. So what happens here is actually something very simple. First, let's again yeah. let's do the same thing. So, okay. Tell me who the message is for. Okay, so give me give me sentences. Uh, I'll I'll ask Alex. Alex, can you give me the first sentence? Who is who is the sure. who is it for? Uh, it could be Anna. Okay, Anna. So this is this is a, an order for Anna. Oops, not Anna, but Anna. Anna. Um, it could be don't eat the cake that I have in the refrigerator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. Anna It don't... is for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, very good. Don't eat the cake in the fridge. Okay. All right. So this is um this is a a clear order for Anna. Okay. Anna should not do this. Okay. Should we make it a little bit smaller? All right. Okay, good. Give me another another encouragement or an order. Anybody? Um, Eddie? Eddie? Remember by um, sugar? 
sorry? Eric, remember by sugar? Okay, remember. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Sure. Okay, good. And one more. Anybody? Anybody? Will For there? example, teacher. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, John, don't forget the keys. Okay. Jo John, did you say? Yes. Okay. John, don't forget the, the keys. Okay. All right. Just because I just because I think it's going to be easier, I'm going to start with this one. Okay. All right. So my first, my my first um. Okay, so my first um, order, my first imperative that I have to give is saying, Eddie, remember to buy sugar. Okay? We want we want Eddie to buy to be always buying the sugar. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to say, um, you're gonna tell the person just who to say it to, okay? So you're gonna say, tell, or what is it? Could you tell? Could you tell who? Eddie. Exactly. Remember the 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 messages for Eddie. Yeah. Just a second. Oh no, I got it. So could you tell, and this is for Eddie, right? Yeah. So could you tell Eddie um, the same thing, the same thing is gonna happen here. And we're going to say, could you tell? Okay. And just like la the last time I told you, it's also possible to say can, right? You decide if you want to say could or can, right? It depends on the formality, the level of formality. So you can say, can you tell? Okay. And then goes to the person you are talking to. In this case, who are we talking to? Who is the message for? Anna. Mm -hmm. Good. The message is for Anna. And here, who the message is for? Eddie. 
Johan. Sorry. It shouldn't be Johan. It should be jo John, I think they told me. Oh, okay. John. Sorry, that was my mistake. Okay. So far, so good? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Pretty yes. straightforward, right? Nothing, nothing complicated. Now, the only thing that's actually going to happen here is this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start the message, which is start the message just starts running from here, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to always add the two. So because it's an imperative, and imperatives are in, in, in the base form, we're going to start with two. Okay. So could you tell Eddie two? Yeah. Okay. And then you continue with the rest of the message. What is the rest of the message? To remember to buy sugar. Yeah, exactly. To remember to buy sugar sugar. Okay. That's the message. Okay. Did you tell Eddie? Remember to buy sugar. Let's see if I can get it. No, I think that's it. As far as it I think. So that we can get in one thing. Yeah, uh, it won't go anymore. Okay, but the thing is this, okay? So basically, you just wait, make sure that we use the word too. I'm probably going to change the color so it, it's a little bit clearer. Okay. So, could you tell Ali to remember to buy sugar? Okay, the same thing here. What we're going to do is we're also going to make sure that we use the two. Okay. Okay, so we're always, we're always going to put two. But in that case, it would be not to eat, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll get there in a moment. Okay, okay. so we're going to put two to what? What's the message? In the cake in the fridge. Eat, right? So eat the cake in the fridge. Okay. But somebody already noticed that we can't just say two because in this case, we have the auxiliary there, which is negative. And we can't just simply ignore the negative part. So what we do in order to make this negative is that we put the word not. We don't put the auxiliary, we just put the negative part, which is not. Now, where do we put not? Do we put it before the two or after the two? What do you guys think? Before or after? Before. That's correct. Very good. That's what we're gonna do. So that we don't ignore it, we're gonna put it before. And say, so Anna told, sorry. So we're gonna say, uh, could you tell Anna not to eat the cake in the fridge? Yeah, you know, you do not say, could you tell Anna to not eat the cake, the cake in the fridge? Yeah. Okay, don't do that. Okay. Be careful not okay. to do this. Okay, so this is incorrect to do it like this. It's incorrect to say, could you tell Anna to not? Okay, in this case, the not goes before the two. Does that make sense? 
Ya. Ya. Yeah? Okay. All right. So let's see if it does make sense because this one is the same. So could you tell John what what goes next? Not to Good. Not forget please. the key. Good, yeah. because we have the don't there. And the rest of it is? What's the rest of it? Forget the keys. Good. Get it, yeah. this for again. Okay. So going back to Raphael's question, imagine, um, what was it? The one before. Juan, right? Um, so it said, imagine uh, Juan is with Carlos and you want to tell Juan to tell Carlos to buy something at the supermarket, right? So in that case, we would have to do this. We didn't have to go back to the indirect request. So we put the imperatives and say, tell, could, uh, could you tell Juan? No, oh, sorry, could you tell, no, who was it? Carlos, right? Could you tell Carlos to buy the milk at the supermarket, for example, to buy milk yeah. at the supermarket. Does that make sense? Teacher. Yeah. 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 Uh, with the first, for example, in the case that I that I told you, for example, when the sentence that appeared in the, in the platform, that is, could you help me? Why don't they put two after that? Because it would be, it should be, uh, for example, could you help me to move on Saturday, or could you help me to could you help me move on the Saturday? Why didn't you put two before? after the, the, the object pronouns. Yeah, case. Um, the thing is that the, in the question that you asked there, it's not an indirect request. It's not an indirect request because it's, it's actually a direct push request. You're asking the person directly to do that favor for you. You're not asking another person to tell them. It's that person that the person you are talking to that's the person that you want to do the favor. In this case, if I say, could you tell Eddie to remember to, to buy sugar? This information is not directly to, to Eddie. This is told to another person. And that person is going to tell Eddie. Does that make sense? And what about if I say something like, do you want me to go there? Or do you want me go there? To go. You want me to go there. OK. OK. Okay, let's go back. Let's go now to the next part, which okay. is indirect requests, yes or no questions. Okay, now this one um, is actually very, very easy, straightforward. Um, this is basically what you might have a little bit of trouble with is remembering the that um, which words to use, but like which words um, to introduce the request, but. It's, it's you're gonna say it's not that difficult. Okay, all right, guys. So tell me, please give me requests for different people. And it has to be a yes or no, uh, a yes or no question. So who's it for? Oh. Okay, um, I'm going to have to choose then. Um, let's see. Okay, Lillian. Lillian, could you please give me a yes or no question that you want to ask somebody? Uh, maybe uh, Carla, okay. do you want hang out hang out with me? Okay. On on Thursday. Okay. 
So here's your question um, uh, to Carla. Okay, good. All right, um, let's see another question, Alejandra. Um, okay. Kim, Kevin, do you have free time to help me with, with something? Sorry, well, just to make it not to make it so long, we just have to have time. Sorry. You have time to help me. Let's see. Okay. Kevin, do you have time to help me? Okay, good. Um, Andy, help me with another one. Um, Hector, mm -hmm. um, can you can you play video games with me right now? Hector, can you play video games with me? All right, and one more, Juan. Juan Manuel. Um, Pablo, can you sing for me? Sing for me, okay? Yeah. So I'm in a band and I can't sing, only Pablo can sing. Okay, all right, not a problem. Okay, so here are our requests, right? So far so good, nothing, nothing serious. Okay, because it's a question, okay, so yes or no question, we're gonna start, the request is gonna be, can you ask, okay? Can you ask? Or another possibility is? Could you? Could you ask? Exactly, the other possibility is could you? Did you ask? Okay, so it's really just a matter of what you want to use. So can you or could you? And also, um, if you want to be polite or more formal, it's up to you. Um, can you ask? Or can you ask? And then after that, it's the same idea. You're going to say the person who the message is for. In this case, who is the message for? Carla. Carla. Exactly. Okay. All right, good. And in this one, who is the message for? Kevin. Mm -hmm. Good. The message is for Kevin. And over here is the message for? Hector. Hector. Good. Hector.
Okay. And in this one, Pablo. It's for Pablo. Very good. Okay. And then after that, it's going to be very simple. You're either, there are two possibilities. Well, actually, two words that you can use. You can use the word if, or you can use the word whether, okay? There's actually a few different combinations that we can do here, okay? So we can say, can you ask Carla if I can also say weather. No, uh, remember, it, yeah, it's weather, but it's not like the weather, like the clima, right? It would spell differently. Okay. Or I can say another possibility is whether or not. Okay. Whether or not. Okay. Whether or not. Okay. Or, yeah. Uh, there's another possibility, and that is putting weather. Sorry, not weather, the time. Weather. Um, and then we have whatever comes after this. And at the end, we put the word or not. Or not. Okay, so that's the other possibility. Okay, put in it at the very end the word not. So basically, you're going to do this the same over here, except we're going to separate them. So that's another possibility to separate. Okay, so for example, so can you tell Carla if, and then here it would be the message. But we're going to do a little, something a little bit different than you're used to. Okay, so we're going to say instead of if you notice over here we have an auxiliary because um, we're using simple present. But in this one we would not have an auxiliary. We just say it in the form of statement. So can you ask Carla if? Yeah. Um, in this case we're going to say she. It's not not going to be um, if you because uh, the the message is for Carla. And, um, and this is the third person that's going to be asking her. So if she wants, oops, to hang out on Tuesday. OK, so just be careful there, uh, making sure that it, that we changing the she to the correct form. Like, I mean, she in this case is referring to you over here because you is referring to Carla, right? But now it's for the third person, right? Okay, so just be careful that. And the same thing here. Um, Kevin, do you have time to help me? Okay, so in this case, uh, we would ask Kevin. So could you ask Kevin whether what would it be? If you ask Kevin whether he has time Good. to help he. or not. Exactly. It would be he, not not um, you, because in this case, we're talking about you as referring to Kevin, and Kevin's a boy. <laughs> so in this case, it would be he. And so he has time to help me. Oops, sorry. Okay, so whether so whether he has time to help me is that clear for you guys so far teacher yeah when we use when we use um weather is um 
it's necessary for us to put or not at the end or we can uh, simply uh, leave the word weather like yeah, we weather. Leave if. Yeah, like I said, okay. there are four possibilities. You can use if, okay. whether, whether or not, or you can separate whether, da -da 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 -da, and then or not. So there are four okay. possibilities here. Okay. Teacher and whether if is a exactly synonym of if mm -hmm. or not. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit more formal, but it's the same. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. And, and, and teacher about about the the first, for example, yeah. if if I wanted to to contract once to for one, could I do it? Uh, it's part of the fact that I am uh, talking about third person. No. Well, I got to put once to. Um, once to. Okay. I can't to. contract it. That. No. Okay. No. okay. Uh, because wanna is, is for you. And in uh, this okay. case, it's she. Uh, okay. Okay. Or okay. I. It could also be I want to go. You want to go. Leo says she want to go. She says she wants to go. Okay. Okay, because we, uh, yeah, it's it's because the S, that S there is important to make sure that you understand it's a third person singular. Okay, thanks. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so over here, can you ask Hector whether or not? What goes next? Or not play video games with me? Okay, remember, just like this one. She refers to Carla. He oh, refers to she. Kevin. Exactly. So whether or not he. Got it? He plays. Okay. He can. No. Yeah. He. What? He can play. He can play. Good. He can play. Video games. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the same thing here. I'm just going to erase this line here so you guys can see that I'm going to be writing in the middle there. And in this case, what am I going to put? Could you ask Pablo? Whether whether what he can okay. sing for me he, or not? Okay. Could you ask Pablo whether he he what can sing for me? Okay, can sing for me. Or not? I don't know. So, can you ask Paolo whether he can sing for me or not? Okay, sounds good, guys? Yeah. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. yeah? Just remember um, that you've got to put the correct person that you're referring to. If we're talking about a man, it would be he. You're talking about a woman, like over here, Carla, it would be she. Okay. Questions? So far, so good? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. Okay, guys, because of time, we're not going to be able to see the last one, uh, which is the last part from um, section three which is the uh, WH question words. Um, but it's the same, pretty much, if you understand this, you'll be able to understand this. The only difference is that with indirect questions, with WH question words, all you're gonna do is instead of putting if or whether, we're gonna be putting the question word. So if the question says, Jeff, when does the party start? We're gonna say Jeff, Sorry, can you tell Jeff 
when the party starts, right? So we can we continue using the same question word, when, when, right? And then over here, Sophia, what time should I pick you up? Sophia, could you ask, sorry, could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? So the same idea, just that now instead of using if or whether, we're gonna use the question word. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. I, I, will yeah. Go, I will go over this on Monday. Um, it's just that I wanted to make sure that you were kind of understood that if you wanted to work on it on the platform during the weekend and you wanted to, um, to do this, right? So just make sure that you're using the same question word. Okay. Same thing over here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but pretty much the same, the same thing that is happens here, the same thing that applies here, or better say so the same thing that, um, that we applied to the other one, the one that we just finished looking at with indirect questions, the same thing applies over here. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yes, it makes okay. sense. Okay, good. All right. So like I said, we will, we will see this on Monday to wrap up and everything. But if, if, just letting you guys know that if you can finish the what um, the section three by Monday, that would be great. If you want to leave this part, of, you know, until we sit on Monday, that's okay too. But try you should you should have enough information there to be able to finish like ninety five percent of the platform. Okay, or a better said, not not ninety five percent of the platform, but I said ninety five percent of sections one, two, and three. Okay. 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 Teacher, I have a request for you. Yeah. Uh, could you share with us uh, in the chat group the exercise that we were working today? You mean the, the PowerPoint that we're just looking at right now? No, the before exercise that, that we were working. Just you. Yesterday? That you were working and sharing with. Yes, no. Today about the weather or not. That so you, you mean the PowerPoint? About the, the PowerPoint that I just showed yeah, you right yes. now? Please you want me to share the PowerPoint? The chat room. Sure, yes. I can do that. Yeah, I, I can share no, the, 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 the PowerPoint. Yeah, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank okay, you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, guys, if, are there any other questions that you guys want to ask? No, teacher. No, teacher. Everything is no. Great. No? Okay. Okay, guys. Well, um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you, um, you, know, you do something that relaxes you and just uh, recharges your energy so that Monday you are ready to work uh, as hard as you have this week, right? And just enjoy yourself. And um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, write in the in the in the chat, um, and I will for the people that have sent me the um, the homework and everything. I will get back to you on that. Okay, uh, use tomorrow if possible because we don't have any class. Use it tomorrow so we can work on the platform. Okay, guys, that will be all for today. See you guys on Monday. Okay. Take okay. Care. See you. Take care, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.